Guys, today in this video, we are ranking LEGO Ninjago characters. I have no idea how this is going to turn out in your guys' favor, but I really hope that you guys do enjoy it. Uh, go ahead and list your opinions down in the comments, and just let me know what you guys think of this in general. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys soon. Recording. All right, and then we're gonna do PC gaming. There we go. Okay. All right, so Ew. hey guys, one ill deal here. All right, let's see how we're looking. All right, so we have. Alright, we gotta get it just right so that we don't block out anything. How are we looking? Alright, I guess we're gonna make our we're gonna make our webcam smaller for this. Alright, there we go. Wait, what was that ad on the side? I don't know what this ad is. Alright. We're gonna Alright. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna do Discord. Nope, Google Chrome. Alright. So first off, we're starting with um, Acronix, I guess. What are your guys' all right? So Kevin, Colby, wait, Colby, do you even watch Ninjago? I only watch like the first three or four seasons. All right, Kevin, you're more up to date with uh, Kevin. You're more up to date with Ninjago, aren't you? Um, a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna go off base with the people I know firsthand. So we got we got a Chronics first. So I never seen a Chronics. You didn't. You never watched the Hands of Time series or season. I seen the Hands of Time series. Yeah, I've well, a Chronics is one of the Time Twins. If I could like is zoom he the in. one that can move back and forth, or is he is he the one that can move forward or backward? Just think of the younger one. He's the younger one. Well, with a bu bunch of time shenanigans, that's a little difficult to find out. There's one that's older, and there's one that's younger. All right. There you go. Oh my God, we got the. O there's General Kozu. There's um the Overlord. Do they have clutch powers in here? Oh, they do. All right, anyway, so I'm going to go with... Okay, so apparently I'm the only one who's, like, caught up on the current Ninjago timeline somewhat. I don't know. I'm in... I'm in, Like, they got invited to this castle. That's where I'm at right now. So we're going to put... We're going to put a Chronix at A. I don't remember the... I don't remember the wolf's name, but Lloyd called her Red until I don't remember her actual name though. All right, Mom. I'll open the door when. Yes, right. please do, cause it was spent last night. Sorry. Okay. Mojo, you going with her? Yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night. All right. So there's that. All right. So I don't remember these two's names, so we're gonna go to Ash, the Master of Smoke. He was a, he was an all right character. We're gonna put him at B tier. Asphira, I really didn't like her as a character, so C tier for her. Then we got I think that's Bansha from Possession. She's gonna go to C tier. Ah, Bolobo. Bolobo, he was a he was an all right character, so we're gonna put him at B tier. Actually, no, he ended up being really helpful, so he's gonna be A. Everyone who like okay, I I was I'm I'm past the season where this one was introduced and she was really helpful, so egg. But I don't remember this one, this one. You know what? Everyone that I don't know, I'm just going I'm just gonna go ahead real quick. Um doo -doo -doo. I may have to come do an updated one as soon as like um I'm caught up officially on Ninjago and I watch Crystallized. That's her brother, so he's going to go to A tier as well. 
because he ended up being pretty cool. And that's Cole's mom. So we're gonna put her at B two. Oh wait, no, Wasn't we put his her back. dad a weird singer? His, Cole's dad is indeed a singer. Yes, Kevin, you would be correct. All right. Um, the only um, it was an entire yes. thing where he had to unlock his potential, and he oh just had to like do a bunch of weird dances. Let's the see. only something Jowl character I know is that Clutch Powers was in there. <laughs> Dude, I hate what they did to Clutch Powers. They literally made him a raging alcoholic. What? They practically what made happened. Clutch Powers a raging alcoholic now. Bro, why? Because uh, ten years has passed. Things change. Yeah. Alcoholism. Yes. All right. Um. But yeah. So that's all the characters that I. Okay, there we go. I'm surprised. I don't see Harumi in here. Oh, no, there's Harumi, founder. All right, so we got uh, the Master of Form. She ended up being a real bitch, so she's going to B tier. Master she Chen. What did she do? She kind of redeemed herself at the end of the series. Yeah, no, but she became... Zoom in. Well, she became evil, so... Again... Okay, fine. I'll put her uh, after like the whole tournament of elephants thing. She became evil, I guess. No, didn't she redeem herself? By well, if you were... yeah. Okay, remember when Sons of Garmadon happened, and then um, like Nia was asking about her, and uh, uh, Karloff was like, "How do I say she's bad guy now?" Oh, so she's bad guy. Yes, she's bad guy. So she stays in B tier. Master Chen, I love him. He's a great villain, but he belong. I think he belongs in A tier. I would make him S tier if he wasn't like, you know, a psycho who was trying to literally get all the elemental masters to literally fight to the death. Clancy, I Clancy, Clancy was kind of out of his element. He he deserves to be in S tier because he was literally one of the nicest members on the crew sh on the crew thing. Then we got Klaus. Chen's number two. Klaus ended up being a real dick. I did not like Klaus. Clutch Powers, I would put him bitch. at S tier. You may have magic, but he's a bitch. Yep. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, Clutch Powers in B tier because he's literally a raging alcoholic now. He is not my childhood hero anymore. Okay, uh, Cole um, just there. Cole, he, I'm gonna say at least A tier, maybe, maybe, C, maybe S. I'm putting Cole in S tier because Cole, he's been through a lot. You know, his parent, his mom's dead. He's basically not even with his dad anymore. Um, yeah, no, his he, dad's doing jazz. He became a ghost. Um, his love life is crap, so he deserves S tier. General Cryptor, he's going in A. I'm going to give him... A that series, so I do not know of General Cryptor. He was in Rebooted. Cyrus Borg, immediate S tier. Rebooted? Dareth, immediate S tier. Because he's awesome. Uh, random girl from Skybound, I don't remember her name, but I know also, she was I part of... how you're not streaming right now. I am streaming. No, you're not. Yes, I am, Kevin. It says it's live. Kevin, I'm literally streaming. Oh, yeah, it just loaded for me. For oh, my God, Kevin. Kevin. That was really weird. All right, anyway. Yeah? So, random girl from... Um, random girl from Skybound. I don't remember her name. She's going in B tier because I didn't like her that much. Um, one of Master Chen's uh, guys, he's going in C tier because he's not that yeah. memorable. Uh... The Flintlock guy, I don't remember his name, but he's going in A tier because he redeemed himself at the end of Skybound. First Spinjitzu Master, immediate S tier. Garmadon, immediate A tier. Mm. Oh, mm. Uh, which version of him? Uh, it's Lord Garmadon. So, all right, so that's A tier. He's a good, he's a good villain. All right, uh, what about Gultar? Gultar. You guys like to read my strongly worded email to the Miss Clerman? Oh yes. God, sure. Where should I send it? Should I send it in portal? Uh, probably. Yeah. Just like copy and paste it. Hold on, I've got to. 
Yeah. One of the ghost dudes. Um, <clears throat> what about that Jin dude? Oh, uh, we'll get to Nauticon. But Gultar, he like was... You're, like, camping. I don't know what you're doing. You're, like, picking random guys out. No, I'm going in order. I'm going from whoever's up next. So right now we're at Gultar. Gultar, yeah. he's... He's he's alright. We're gonna put him in dude, B tier. Dude, dude, dude. I'm watching your live stream. You just got that weird dude in the purple up first into D tier before even hitting that guy. Crazy. What? Exactly. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, Gravis, anyway. Master of Gravity. He was he was a pretty cool character. I liked him. A tier. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree. I I feel B. He was B. Yes, he was a good power, but he didn't really have that much of a role. I'm just gonna say this: there. Kevin's more of a Ninjago nerd than me, so whatever he says goes. Basically. All right, whatever Griffin. Go. Griffin Turner, Master of Speed. A tier, Kevin. Uh, I never really liked speed. He purple. I gotta say, he kind of deserves A tier for disrespecting Jay. That's like a requirement. When did you disrespect Jay? At the first time, um, he, he ran around the boat, and then Jay was like, "Wait, superpowers on an element? How's that speed?" And then he runs back, and he's like, "How is lightning an element?" No, that was Sensei Garmadon that said that. Um, no, yeah, literally, maybe, Jay's right? like, speed? That's not an element. So asks the Master of Lightning. All yeah, right. No, it wasn't, it wasn't Garmadon. It was, it was um, Garmadon. Play the clip. It was Garmadon. Maybe. Well, it's been a while. Just go, just go look at it. It'll, it. It's Garmadon. Play the clip. All right. Where? Where? And then the Master of Music. Um, master of Sound. Stupid. All right, so C, because he we literally didn't see him after Cole got locked into the place. J, we're going to put him in S tier because he's lit. He lit. Kai, Kai, what do you think? Kai? He had a good redemption arc. Yeah. Like, he went from, oh, I'm the green ninja, to, oh, I got to help the green ninja. <laughs> uh, all right, so A, a tier, Kevin? Yeah, he, he had a weird redemption, but, yeah, he was a good character. And then he got his powers taken by his Sphera. B. So, A tier? Yeah, why not? Okay. Alright, Karloff. Immediate S tier. General... Oh, he's that guy that can turn his fist to metal, right? Yeah, he can. Li he literally has, like, metal armor inside of him. Basically. <laughs> so, then we have... I think was a bit weird, but okay. We have General so Kozu. Episode? The Overlord's assistant. <laughs> Mm, good villain, but not good character. So, B tier. B -tier. Yep. Uh, Crux. Ooh. The other time twin. The other time twin. Same a thing with the other time twin. A tier. I'll be Wait, honest, so I didn't. Put the other twin into A tier? Yeah, they're Bruh. literally right on top of each other. Bruh. Uh, I gave I gave Acronix plus points because he likes technology. Wait, did I say Crux? Acronix, the younger one, got um. Acronix, the younger one, got points because he likes technology. Crux doesn't like technology, so he's gonna lose points to that. And plus, he's just All a grumpy right, so old about man. The green ninja. Laloid. Laloid. I was a bigger fan of the when we first introduced them. <laughs> True. It was kind of funny, and we just all made fun of him, like, ha, 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 tiny child wanted to be big bad. He's but, he's literally the worst, like, what is it? Worst villain, but decent hero. And he had the worst haircut. He got that yeah, Will Byers type. Comic. When he was introduced, he was just comic relief. Exactly, so A tier. Like, yeah. if, if we had younger Lloyd, then I would put him at A tier. But I guess we'll do older Lloyd as A tier as well, since younger Lloyd's not here. All right, then we have uh, Commander Machia. He was just a pile of snakes, not very memorable. So B? Maybe C. Okay, C, geez. All right, then we have Maya. He's not memorable. 
He's a pile of snakes. She, but okay. Um, we have Kai and Nia's mother. Uh, she didn't get that much screen time, so I can't really give a good... B? Yeah, why not B? Yeah. Oh, God. I have. I immediately have to go with... Oh, my God. Misako. The worst mm-hmm. mother to ever exist in Ninjago. How is she the worst mother again? Um, when you're... Okay, so the father is evil, and your yeah. son is destined to become the green ninja. Do you, A, stay to help him and help him prepare to fight his father, or B, oh, leave for know. a good portion of his life to go do a history project? I say all the above. Uh, no, she yeah, didn't I, stay. I, I she left and went and did yeah, a now, history now project. Realize, yeah, she kind of left. Yeah, she was kind of a bad mother. Like, so, what, what did you expect your son to do? You just left. So, C tier? So, yeah. Um, yeah, C tier. All right. Uh, then we have the monkey, the robot monkey looking thing. More comic relief. Definitely not a D tier, but definitely not any of them. We are near A, so I guess C. <laughs> I was going to put, like, just. Just there. Moro. We got Moro now. Uh, decent villain. I kind of, I really did like his dragon form when he possessed the green ninja. Yeah. So he was, an, he was at least an S tier villain with a decent redemption. He did because he gave, he ended up giving the realm crystal to Wu. Mistake. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Mistake? That weird tea lady? Yeah. At least B. B tier. Mistake, she had a good redemption arc. Unfortunately, she died. She never had a redemption arc. She's just there. Yeah, true. Never mind. Just never mind that. At one episode, it was like, go get me tea leaves. Yeah, true. And then here, and then she tried giving, like, she helped or tried helping Dareth to get his own power. Who's messaging me? Like, here, have this weird tea. I don't know what it does. Killian's messaging me right now. Who? Probably about her grade. You should check your grade and see what first put for your Frankenstein test. Did, did anyone understand that? The test it's upon you put in a zero. Hmm. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm going to answer Killian in like another 10 minutes when I'm done with this. All right, uh, not a con, Kevin. Oh, Genie Bully? Yeah, he wasn't really that great of a character. Um, he didn't have redemption either. They have really great powers, and that kind of deserves something, but yeah, at the same time, he was just kind of flat. So, B tier? Oh, yeah. True. All right, then we have Neuro. Who is he? Master of the mind. Interesting power. Decent character. Not a lot of background, so... C, maybe. Poor Neuro. Alright, then we got Nia. She had a very interesting arc. She went from being Samurai X to the Water Ninja. Yeah, when they introduced her as a Water Ninja, I was like... But she's samurai, and she was like a technological whiz. True. But then we got Pixel. <laughs> anyway, a bit away from the next, but okay. All right. So you want to do you want to do Nia in like A tier? Sure. All right. Nia goes in A tier. All, All right, right. Then we got the characters next. That's the leader that's the of the story. Oni. I'm just going to automatically put him in D because we didn't really see him much. Mm. Next is the Overlord or the Golden Which Master. Version? The Golden Master. Which version? Golden Master. Which version? The one where it takes on a demon dragon or the one in Reboot where it becomes like a weird tech dragon? Oh my god. And there's the Overlord and then there's the mas- the Golden Master. So Golden Master. Golden Master, so the one in Reboot. Yes. 
Uh, doesn't he like go up and mine an asteroid? No, Honestly, he I was think, still I being like. The- that was his generals. He sent his generals to go do that. But yeah, he's he still won. He still won. <laughs> Let's go mine the asteroid medals. Well, the, he needed weapon. them. Yep, basically. Okay. Yeah, he he wanted he wanted weapon. Yeah, um, basically. I honestly liked the first big bad first. So high A tier, high A, high A tier. So we're gonna put him. Where should we put him on here? Should we put him next to Chen, but in front of Klaus? Yeah, sure. He, he was intimidating, but at the same time, not the best kid, big villain. Yeah, and then we have the um, the Invisible Man. Oh yeah, that was an elemental master. That was just he was garbage, not really memorable. Okay, so the only the, time he could efficiently use his powers, getting naked, and that was just really weird. Pixel. The fuck. <laughs> pixel. Thoughts on Pixel, it was Kevin? A joke. Yeah, all right. Um, I feel a different pixel. We haven't even come across Zane yet, have we? Oh, nope, there's Zane. We haven't put him on there yet. He's next to Master Yang, who's next to Captain yes. Soto. Yeah, so pixel. Um, She had a weird thing. She had a weird start, but she ended up having a good redemption arc when she basically... um. Again, she never had a redemption arc. She was kind of forced into villainy. Well, it wasn't that she was... No, she just had like an... an it's not really a redemption arc either, but it's like when she became Samurai, actually became more important. You know what I'm saying, Kevin? Yeah. So, where should we put her? Mediocre A. So A, we're gonna put it right next to Nia because girl power. Okay, girl power. then went everybody's favorite snake, Pythor P. Chumsworth. Pythor was always a flip flip flop for me. It was either an S or a D. It was uh-huh. either or. So we'll put him at B tier. <clears throat> eh, maybe low A. He was always a flip flop, but I always liked his design. So we'll put him next to Pixel. Okay. All right, then we got Kai's father. I'm not going to lie. The only thing I know about him is that he's a blacksmith. All right, so you want to put him in B tier? He was a fire wrestler, and he liked blacksmithery. Not, he liked blacksmithing. So B tier right next to his wife? Yes. Okay, there we go. All right, um, then we got Ronin. A. A tier for Ronin. A tier. Samukai. B tier. B tier Ronin. Uh, All right, what a- he was like our first villain we ever seen. They were like <gasps> skeleton boy. Oh, okay. Put Ronin back in B tier, put Samukai in A. Alright, then we got the um the person who was like the beta tester for Prime Empire. Yes. Where should we put... I mean, he was he was pretty helpful to the ninja. I'm not going to lie, I kind of stopped watching around when he got introduced, so I'm not really sure about him yet. Well, he was a good character, and he ended up helping the ninja, so I'm going to put him in the A tier. Then we have uh, Master of Shadow. Like, I'm not going to lie, I, I liked his character death mixing with his power. It was like Dark and Emo with his power. But at the same time, that's kind of stupid. Right. So uh, so maybe high A. High A for Shadow? Oh, mid, well, no, high B. Mid, okay. mid to high B. We're going to put him in front of Clutch Powers because he's a raging alcoholic. Skylar, Chen's daughter. Um, Is she the one that could take powers? Yeah. Apparently she became a villain, which kind of just ruined the previous redemption arc. So, she didn't become uh, a villain. You said she came, became a villain. When? <laughs> you said it! No! Bruh. When did I say Skylar became a villain? Dude, and it started a while ago. I didn't say that. Because I was like, wait... 
You mean the copycat ninja, the copycat elemental? It was like the one that could steal powers? So yeah, she became a villain. I was like, what? No, she didn't. She redeemed. No, 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 no. That's Master of Form. She can turn in... Master of Form turns into people. Skylar steals their powers. What the fuck do I get out of here? Okay. <laughs> I cannot play this game by myself. Oh. Um, what game is it, Corey? Maybe A tier. You want to put Skylar in A tier? Okay. We're gonna yeah, put her in yeah. front of. We're gonna put her in front of a Chronix. She's gonna be high A tier because she's just epic. She's in front of her father. All right, then we got Soul Archer. He's really not that memorable, and he was only on screen for like one episode, maybe he two. Was in, he was in the. He was always there. If I remember correctly, he didn't have that much dialogue, so not really there. But yeah, true. So B so, tier. Maybe D. D. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, then we got uh, Master of Poison. She's got that pixel Wasn't hairstyle. Nature. I thought she was Master of Nature. No, that was Bilobo. We already did Bilobo. Bilobo. Yeah, guy with the staff, A tier, third character in. I didn't even know there was a Master of Poison. It just seems weird. So D tier. Mm, yeah. Um. Oh, Unagami. Isn't yeah. that the corrupted, corrupted Ru? That's the corrupted game. Unigami I wasn't was, there. Well, you need to finish watching Prime Empire to understand. But I'm putting him at, I'm putting him at B tier because he had a good redemption arc. He he made everything better. Then we have the princess. I'm not going to say much about the princess. I need to come back and do this at some point because I'm getting to where she, the princess that. I guess, colds at having a crush on or something, but uh, what's the place called? They get invited to... Honestly, has Cole ever even had a lover and trust in the entire series? Nia. Nia. But oh, then God. still, Nia went after Jay. Yeah. Alright, so, um, the princess oh, yeah, that Cole... Yeah, like, no, to... He had no one to actually love. But I'm trying to remember, it was the... It's this, like, it's this castle... That apparently is so like rare to be in because it was like the princess's birthday that the ninja were invited to. And this castle like rarely has visitors and no one has ever seen it. So for the longest time people were wondering if it was actually real. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll put it on like the I'll have like a subtitle that'll show All right, next what character. it was. Next type next character, Vex, the person who basically corrupted Zane into being the Ice Emperor. Well, I guess he did kind of corrupt, but at the same time, the scroll of power was like, hey, <laughs> corrupting brain. Yep. <laughs> okay, so D tier for him because he never really. Yeah. Had, he was not that re redeemful. Like, as soon as Zane was free, he kind of just got absolute slapped. Yep. All right, then we got um, Sensei Wu. S. S. S, Wu S, tier. S. Right next to Moro. All right, what about Master Yang? Um, who is he? Or Sensei Yang. He's the he's the Sensei Ghost. If you ever watched Day of the Departed, the ninja moved into his temple. Hmm. I've never finished that one, so he was the reason. Remember in Possession when the ninja lost the Scroll of Erjutsu to Moro, so they had to go to Sensei Yang's haunted temple to learn Erjutsu from him. When Cole uh -huh. got turned into a ghost. G -g 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 ghost. I want to put him at maybe just maybe C tier. C tier. I was thinking B, B, but we'll put him at very what? low B. Very low B. Low Zane. B. What about Zane? I always loved his character. He was just always. There's just his character was flat. There's a sad issue reason. because it's a there's an issue because he literally dies like every other season. But the same thing that he's a robot, so he's allowed. True. But yeah, his right. character makes sense. He is True. a flat character because that's his design. <laughs> he what doesn't is... have emotion because he's a ninjoid. And then at one point, yeah, he starts actually feeling like, I'm a real boy. Oh, God. Which I do like, which deserves something. So he's he's in high A for me. High A. Maybe, so we're going to put him. At least. We're going to put him in front of. Easy. We'll put him in front of Chen. In a. All right, there we go. So then we got Captain Soto. 
The pirate. Drunken pirate. Yep, drunken pirate. So B- C tier, B. Yeah. Who's just always more of an annoyance and a side product of the main actual villain. So C tier? All right. Yeah. And then we got Chew Toy. Isn't that one from when they visited the Onis and then it was like, ha ha ha, we hunt dragons. It was the te- it was the realm of the Oni and Dragon, yeah. So he okay. was basically like he was there in the arena. He was only there for like that episode, I think, so we're gonna put him Does in the Does he D-tier. walk around on crab legs? No, that's the next guy. I don't remember the mm-hmm. guy's actual name, so we're gonna call him what young Master Wu called him, Tinsel Toes. Tinsel Toes. We're gonna, yeah, same thing. The not really memorable. He's a guy that he's a guy in spider legs that happened before, and he was better that way. And then it's the criminal bird thing. Oh, Fuji Dove. Um, Fuji Dove. I never seen it, so I wouldn't know. All right. Well, Fuji Dove. He's not that memorable. We're gonna put him at a. You know what? We're gonna put him since we've seen him. We're gonna put him. We're gonna put him right next to. The, we're gonna put him right in between the Oni and the Shadow, or the not the Shadow, the Invisible Guy. And then we have the one hunter that helps the ninja against Iron Baron. Mm, maybe C. Yeah, I don't think we ever saw her again after March of the Oni. I was like, "Hi, I'm here to help." You will never see me again. No, she like disappeared after no she like disappeared after march of the oni i i don't remember the ending of march of the oni because it was so long ago so i think she ended up going to um i think she probably ended up going back to the realm of the oni and dragon all right i think she did what about the mechanic um the mechanic which what he basically looks like a if a ninjroid was a human he has like that ninjroid part of the Helmet over his eye. I think I've seen the new series, the new season where he's in. I I thought you were talking about Zane's father. No. No, Dr. Julian's not in here. Oh, no. Where is he, bro? He's not in here. That's one person they forgot, Dr. Julian. They don't automatically qualify for S then. Dr. Julian would have gotten qualified for S. So we're gonna put we're gonna put the mechanic down in like we're gonna put him right next to Fuji Dove, so we're gonna put him there. Alright, then we got scales. He's the, always a fun character. I don't care. He just at the same time he got a little bit of back he got a lot of back slap because backlash. Yes. Because yes. he had a good character. Yeah, so we're gonna put him at um B tier. Right next to Sensei Yang. And then we got the one pirate who knows Spinjitsu. I don't remember his name, but he didn't talk. Wait, one of the pirates knew Spinjitsu? Yeah. Is he the one that didn't talk? Yeah, he's the one that didn't talk. Uh, that was kind of weird. Wait a minute. He these always two are showed the same his people. discretion just by twirling his little face. Yeah, so he'll go in C tier. And then this is basically the same person, so she's going to go... Yeah, they're the same person, so they're going to go... Of course, they have two of the same person, but they don't have Dr. Julian. And then we have Harumi. Where should we put Harumi? Mm, i never seen it, but she appears in Sons of Garmadon, yep. which I have not watched, so I wouldn't know. You haven't watched Sons of Garmadon? No, I wish I have, but I can't find it, so no. It's on Netflix. It is? Yes. Go look up Ninjago on Netflix. Go watch Sons of Garmadon. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're going to put Harumi in... We're going to put her in B tier, right next to Scales. Iron Baron, I didn't really like him as a character, so we're going to put him in C tier. He was the guy that led all those people to hunting the dragons. Then we got Killo, the big buff guy. I was kind of even thinking of, like, we're going to hunt dragons. Yeah. All right, what's the next character? Killo. He was the big buff guy in Sons of Garmadon who always wore the helmet. Kind of a dumb dumb. He had it's like dumb. this British accent. So we're gonna put him in we're gonna put him right next to Karumi. Then we got Mr. E, Zane's new rival, who's also a ninjoid, apparently. 
How many more ninjoids are we doing? Uh, well, considering the, we're at the last two people, there's one more after Mr. E, and then we're done. So, like how many ninjoids are being made in this world of Ninjago? We I have don't seen, know. We have like weird cyborgs. Yeah, true. We had like an army. We had an army of ninjoids. Due to the removed. Overlord, yeah. All right, so Mr. E, what should? Where should we put Mr. E? I mean, he kind of had an unfair death. He died after, like, he literally got torn apart by Garmadon. So we're gonna put him in. We're gonna put him in B, right? Or actually, no, we're gonna put him. We're gonna put him in front of Harumi because I feel like he could have been a very powerful character if he was good. And then we got the crazy lady who does the little yodel thing. I don't even remember what it is. Someone roll the clip. Just remember, you'll if I roll the. Roll the clip. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about. All right. So we're gonna put her at like Kevin. Do you are you even like are you watching the stream or are you like watching the yes. screen? Wait, which stream are you watching? The one on YouTube or the one on Discord? One on YouTube. Oh my god! So you're pretty far behind, probably. But it's the word. Yeah, this, only a few seconds behind. I this lady right here. This lady right here. <laughs> yes, this lady right there. We're gonna put her at B tier. All right. Well, that concludes yeah. that concludes this tier. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And I also. All right. Next is next is the the scaling of Ninjago, Ninjago's monsters and creatures. Let's go. No, we're doing the seasons next. Actually. Well, it's getting pretty pretty late, and my phone is close to death. All right. So we really gotta hurry this up. Thanks for watching, guys.